Cosentino booth, and this is... Kitchen and Bath Show in Vegas. I got the Build Show crew here, guys. We're gonna invade today. We're gonna see what's new and interesting in Kitchen and Bath in this video. Will King, Brian Euler, Stephanie Daly, Ali Anderson, and the famous Brent Hall. <laughs> Let's get going. Knock, knock. Who's home? Oh, that's too cool. Uh, <laughs> totally hidden, no handle. So Brian, I'm a big Mila guy. I really like their appliances. Yeah. I have these in my kitchen. Um, but I think it's funny that some of the things I like about them, they don't necessarily advertise, sure, sure. but they solve a problem for me as a builder. Number one, at my houses, I've never really had a water softening system, but check this out. In the bottom of the unit, drop your salt, you get Mila salt that's made for this, and you've got a softener built into the washing machine. So my machine never has white spots in it. My dishes look amazing when they come out. Now you're still, of course, gonna use your uh, rinse aid uh, in here, but I absolutely love that. The other cool thing about Mila is they've got these power discs. So you can actually uh, drop a disc in, and this lasts about three weeks to a month hmm. with my big family. Uh, so it automatically dispenses that detergent. Some really cool stuff from Mila, but I mean, the big reason people choose these, Brian, is noise. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you had a complaint from a noisy dishwasher or had a noisy dishwasher in your house? And I think they just upgraded their decibel level is lower. That's what the marketing guys are telling us. And they're better on energy efficiency. They're using a little bit less electricity and they just hit their 125 year anniversary. This is a cool company. I haven't been to their factory. My old business partner went and said it was crazy at the Miele factory in Germany. You cool. have coil stock coming in one end and they literally make like every screw, every part and a dishwasher comes out the other. These are, these dishwashers, this is maybe not the best uh, phrase, but I think they're the gateway drug. Once you put one of these in, you're like, wow, these are amazing dishwashers. My wife will not let me do anything else but Miele dishwashers Very cool. ever again in any house I ever built. Awesome, and I know it's a little thing, but even the colors. You've got the, the kind of taupe with the yep, orange and the yep. gray. There's just even on the inside, it looks like a They're sleek really nice. They're really well equipment. organized too. And now that I've had it, I absolutely love this tray for all of my uh, cutlery on the top. So I can organize them like little soldiers going to the bath together. And there's at least two LEDs, yeah. maybe more. Yeah, there's good, but it reflects there's good pretty lighting. Nicely. And if you're a wine glass person too, there's really good wine storage on both racks actually. Uh, this bottom rack has wine storage as well. It's really nice. We didn't get to see it, but I hear they have a brand new Uber black oven, which sounds pretty awesome. Uh, impressive stuff. Always cool to come see what's new at Mila. Thanks for joining me, Brian. Thanks, man. Build Show has been a big fan of Sugatsuni hardware for a long, long time. Kitchen and Bath Show 2024 at the Sugatsuni booth. You know, I love Sugatsuni hardware. This is the hinge I used at my house for all my hidden doors. Look how beautiful this hinge hides in that space on the door. However, you need a router template when you're doing these. And I'm here with the future of routers right here. I got Russ with Shaper Tools. Hey, Matt. Russ, how are you going to make a template for this thing? Nice, so we've got the Shaper Origin over here. This is a handheld CNC machine in the form factor of a plunge router. We have Shaper Plate, our universal template for Origin. And we use the digital world to make digital templates that keep this router inside the line. Come on around and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so step one, how do we figure out where that hinge is going? Step one, just like any other hinge, you're gonna measure that out and just make that mark with your pencil. Okay, so center line of hinge, basically. Center line of hinge. You're gonna bring this template over. We might change the offset based on what my cladding is gonna be, right? You absolutely can yep. change that offset That's at right. any time. You're gonna line up that center mark and then go ahead and clamp that template in place. Yep. Nice clamps, by the way. Nice Thank uh, you. template, nice and Festool. flat. Yeah, good stuff. All right, now, here's the magic. We're gonna bring the router over here. So this looks like a router made into a computer, basically. It is, so this tower has the computer and it has a small X, Y axis, just like a CNC machine. So if you come over here and take a look at the screen, what we have is this digital template 
And when we work within that digital template, the router is going to prevent you from going outside of those lines. Ah, gotcha. So if we come over here, let's look at this, uh, this first hinge mortise that we're going to have to cut. This is going to go 10 millimeters deep. For purpose of illustration, we'll just do this as an air cut, so actually above the surface. Uh, if I zoom in on this, we're going to want to clear out that center area first. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and if we start cutting that, now you'll look inside this pocket. The center of the spindle stays locked, just like as if it were a plunge router. Now when you get to the boundary of that pocket, that spindle correction oh, wow. is going to kick in, and that prevents you from going outside the line of your template. Look at that, See that's that moving over. Moving? Wow. Now if this dot reaches the edge of that circle, the spindle is actually going to automatically retract and prevent you from messing up your work. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So it literally lifted and moved it over. Yep. That's now, so cool. after you cut that pocket, you're going to finish that up with an inside cut. And now on that inside cut, you're going right to the edge of that template. And the spindle is staying locked right on that line. So, so as cool. long as you follow this line around the edge of that template, you're going to get that perfect cut. And it's changing the height on the unit too. You're changing that height so that you're routing different depths. We're routing two different depths on this, absolutely, because this is a two-step mortise. And for then this when hinge. you're done, check this out, y'all. Yeah, we drop, drop that, that in. Drop that in. We've got a perfectly so flash. Right? We've got perfect a perfect tolerance. Perfect yep. flat hinge, perfect tolerance. Yep. That's really cool. This is Shaper Tools at the Sugatsuni booth. All right, guys, one other cool thing I wanted to show you before we leave Sugatsuni. Ton of cool hardware here, but this is a brand new display from them. This is the MFU 1200. Check out this really cool hidden door. The way they ran this is it's really hard to tell the black line here. You can tell a little bit at the top, but check out this action. Oh, man, that is slick. I really like that. So this is a top track mounted, right? And we've got a guide on the bottom and they've got two different styles of this. One that will hold an 80 pound door and one I think 150 pounds, if I'm saying that right. But look at that nice, sweet action. Soft close. Really, really good. This is what Sugatsuni is known for. Really high quality hardware that makes your houses look super bomber. Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Daly with Stephen Daly Construction. And I'm Allison Anderson with Integral Builders. And today we are talking about some of our favorite places to be on the toilet. Mm. And today we are at the Toto booth. We are. And we are looking at some fantastic toilets. You know, this is NeoRes. 30th anniversary. Incredible. And we have the NX2. This is kind of the big mama when we're talking about Toto Toilet. It's the talk of the show. It really is. And this is one of those toilets that you're going to get that has every feature imaginable. These controllers are just absolutely amazing. This toilet does just about everything. It is a floor mounted toilet. Um, it has every feature that you could possibly need. These controls can be wall mounted. They also have a stand that we'll show you that they can attach to a stand, which is really beautiful. It kind of allows some toilet paper rolls to go on it below. It's just one more extra modern touch that's offered by Toto. Yeah, absolutely. And they also have these wall hung uh, units that you can use. Great thing about a wall hung unit is that it really buys you space. Okay, so when you have a small bathroom, especially in Chicago, our typical bathrooms are seven feet by five feet, and we've got to get a lot of spa toilet action into a very small space. Wall hung toilets are generally the specification. Nice thing about wall hung units is that you can hang them at any height, and you get an extra nine inches of clearance in front of the toilet, which is a big deal when you're fighting for inches. Absolutely, and not to mention that if you're more of a uh, clean person or you're looking for a more modern look this sits up off the ground giving you the ability to clean underneath it really thoroughly yeah absolutely we have one other unit here and this here is the neo rest ls and we've got a few different controls here i'm going to grab this one so we can show you the three different color options the cool thing about this toilet you mind holding that alley no problem the LS here has this little trim detail of color along the side, and you can actually order this to match your controls. So if your interior designer has specced a beautiful silver bathroom, you're using some silver hardware, maybe this is the color you chose. And you can actually have Toto customize this toilet with some silver here and have silver controls. There's also the black and the nickel that Allie's got there in her hand. 
these are just really great models that are available from Toto. Yeah, and I would say the most impressive thing and I would say the most avant-garde thing that's happening at the show this year is the self-cleaning capabilities of the toilets. Wellness is a theme. Right? It's, it's been a theme around the entire show, and that's one of the things that Ali and I were super blown away to learn about. They have a UV light that's on the top of the toilet here on the lid, and they have a proprietary glaze that goes into the toilet that yeah. really is just an extra, it's self-cleaning. This yeah. toilet is directed towards health and wellness. That's right. We start with toilets, and one day we'll get to the kids, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> one day. Thank you guys so much for checking out the Toto booth with us. Go give Toto a follow, check them out online. If you're looking for the best toilet in the market and something that stands out above the rest, check these out. And we are here at the Arizona Tile booth checking out everything they have got out for 2024. Allie, this tile caught my eye right away. I've been yeah. loving this vertical installation of tile and the more textured detail tile that we're starting to see kind of highlighted in design today. Yeah, we're really seeing a crunch on budget actually with a lot of these vertical tile installations. So, you know, there's standard tile install and there's custom tile install and those budgets can really start to skyrocket with tile installations and th there's so many great products out there to install. The great thing about this one is that this is actually tile on mesh. So this would fall into the more standard install category beautiful tile, but also budget conscious. Absolutely, and the one thing I love about this particular display we're looking at is kind of the more warm, earthy tones that we're seeing come into play here in 2024. We've seen a ton of bright colors lately, but we're starting to go back to that like comfort look. So let's walk to this display right next to us here. This is another one of those textured tiles that is really show-stopping. Do you yeah. see stuff like this happening in your market right now? Yeah, definitely in Chicago, tile is king. Like everyone's doing, they're trying to find something that's unique to their home, that's custom, but something that's also classic and um, and something that's also not like $100 a square foot to install. Yeah, this is a really great product. I'm loving what we're seeing. I think the trends, the design trends are really heading towards more clean lines, linear looks. We are still seeing stuff set horizontally, but it's all about that clean look. Not so much our uh, overwhelming mosaics anymore these days. Yeah. It's simple, clean, crisp, and Arizona's done a great job of that. Yeah, yeah, great tile to work with. Builders will be happy with it for sure. This is awesome, Allie. Let's go check out another booth. Build show at the GE Appliances booth. Brian Euler, CJ, dude, they got some cool stuff going on here at the GE booth, boys. I've been very impressed with this tour. I thought you had a really interesting example though. Years ago, you told me that customers were calling you like, oh, I want to use some LED lights and really save some money, right? Oh yeah, so I mean, that was like one of the first things that, as an electrical contractor, we were getting asked to do to, hey, we want to save power. So can you change all our stuff to LED? But they had old windows, old appliances, no solar, no insulation. Yeah. And I just thought it was like counterproductive. But what GE's doing in this, what are they calling it? The smart home energy management system? That's right. It's there's everything. Some, there's some really cool stuff here. So let's start with right behind us. You're noticing the solar panel and the Savant on the wall. They've partnered with Savant. And now we've got a battery on the wall that has an inverter built in. And so we're getting that power from the solar panel. We're charging the battery. We're connected with the house on the panel over here. And then my mind was a little blown, CJ. I need you to actually explain to me what's happening with this panel over here. So battery too. Yep. So that's an inverter yep. and battery, 20 kW backup. Okay. And then it feeds a normal sub panel. GE's been on the market forever. I mean, we've installed thousands of GE breakers. Yeah. And the thing that I like about this is that there's all the smart panels coming out, but what panel they use, where can I find the breakers? Yeah. They go to there and then it's granule. They have uh, the breakers can actually monitor the energy down to you know your dryer to your ev same thing you could turn off loads when you don't yeah. have the battery storage it's really cool and like real time energy consumption so in other words instead of a really expensive panel like we've seen at some other places mm -hmm. we've got kind of a dumb panel but we've got a smart system integrating into yep. that yep. which means this also be could be a retrofit right this doesn't have to be new construction nope that's what's really cool that's pretty cool and interesting too brian they told us look the reason why we put the f-150 lightning mm -hmm. in here is your batteries that might be in the garage are 20 kw right here but guess how big the battery is here do you know already no idea no idea this has a 130 kw battery in the truck <laughs> 
And the power out of these will feed both ways. So you can, yes, yep. charge your battery, but you can also say, look, I got a huge storage system here. I can feed the house with that. Yep. And GE was telling us average house uses like 30 kW a day. So if you've got a 20 kW panel, or pardon me, a 20 kW battery on the wall, maybe you get a day out of it with some good load management. But if your truck's in the yep. garage, plugged into the house, I might get several days out of just the truck's battery, just yep. another source. Yep. Isn't that cool? Not only that though, CJ, I think there's a really interesting efficiency story going on with GE too, right? I think it's more than just power and solar and batteries. And as builders, I think you guys know a lot more, but these appliances have been another, probably a bad word to say, but dumb appliances. Now yeah. these are a lot smarter appliances. Yeah, they are. It's pretty wild yeah. to see what G's doing with not just the battery and the, and the solar, but all their appliances. So two things that I thought were really cool, Brian. They've got a all-in-one heat pump washer dryer combo. Did you see that? Yes. I saw the heat exchanger on top. They've like taking the cover so you can see what's inside. Isn't that cool? Box. That was very Brian, cool. Brian, you'll be excited about this. No, as my a... wife is going to be excited about this. <laughs> as a fellow nerdy builder that has a lot of laundry at their house, they got a brand new washer and dryer combo. Ventless, by the way, right? So yep. no vent. And it's got a basically a heat pump built in. So it's extracting the, uh, the moisture, heat. the yep. heat from the clothes and drying it all in one box. But check this out, a big deal for them, all in one box, so it washes and dries, and two hour cycle time. That's pretty impressive, that's pretty impressive. 120 volts, too. Well, everything is heading toward electric. Like in Washington State, it started to insert itself into the code. Carbon is one of the big parts of the story. Yeah. So to me, it's like you're taking the building envelope, making it as efficient as possible. You might have a fossil fuel free house yeah but where i live what are you going to do when the power goes out yeah and you need to power your car well if you've got the battery backup hopefully you can get some kind of solar all of it plays together yeah it's not just anything in isolation anymore the whole house has to be integrated together and that's really what they're showing here at ge yeah. it's a big system i really like that that washer and dryer combo got me excited also i heard from the rep people are now because you're saving space all in one box Sometimes people are putting two of them in, which makes a lot of sense. Two of those side by side, running a full load, washing and drying in two hours. You could do two full loads and it's full size, unlike some of the other units, which are smaller and are, uh, yes, they've got a heat pump dryer, but they're kind of tiny. Uh, that's That's been of a problem. The other cool thing is that I've talked about this in another video. They've got a brand new uh, heat pump water heater, yep. not on the market yet. I think it's coming later this year, early next. Uh, they've been in that market a long time. They're coming back. The one cool thing about that one, and it goes up to 160 degrees. So their 50 gallon tank acts like an 80 gallon tank because wow. it's so hot, you can temper that 160 down to 120. Yep. So we're actually able to kind of make that a much bigger unit than it really is. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I used to use GE Geo Spring in the past. It's nice to see them coming back. It's nice to see them back in the market yeah. for sure. I think a big one for us too, um, with these appliances getting so much more efficient, is like you were talking about that dryer. It's 120 volts. That's so, so cool. So I mean, isn't it? and, and no all of the current, yeah, all the currents are coming way down with the, this technology, yeah. which makes our life easier because sure. not only are we adding loads to it, but the loads that we're adding to it are getting more efficient. And also, like the vehicle thing excites me too right fixed batteries hanging on walls is one thing but we're all gonna if most of us don't already have an ev parked yeah and i think that's really cool that ford's doing that bi-directional where you yeah. can feed out i think you're gonna see that on like every other car i think that's right for well, sure even bigger picture is the grid sometimes loses its reliability i heard something happen in texas a few years ago <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice to start having lower loads for the grid itself yeah to be yeah. able to keep up that's yeah. right it makes that all electric way more feasible Really cool stuff with the GE booth. Guys, go check out Brian's videos and CJ's videos over on buildshow.com. Super cool stuff with GE. We'll see you later from Design and Construction Week. All right, y'all. Kohler, huge fan. You know, I use them at my house and they make some bomber products. I really like Kohler because not only are they beautiful, by the way, they got this beautiful partnership with Studio McGee. Look at all these amazing finishes. American made, so many of their products made still in Wisconsin, family owned company. But for me as a builder, the deal that I like with Kohler is that when I need a part, I can get whatever I need like that. There's some really other beautiful products out there from other manufacturers that are just not very well made and it's really hard to get parts. On the other hand, Kohler, I mean, look at this stuff. It's amazing, beautiful, 
but for me that I can actually get a part, get the stuff that I need, get the service that I need, that's what really makes the difference. By the way, it looks like we're gonna be working with them on my next project, the Reisinger build. Love Kohler. And you guys know too that Roburn is part of the Kohler family as well. I've got those Roburn medicine cabinets that have been amazing. Make some really nice products. So looking forward to working more with Kohler. All right, y'all, coming to you from the Adaptive booth. Brian, you're gonna like this company. I know you're a back office nerd. Yeah, absolutely. You run a pretty tight ship over yep. there, Pioneer Builders. Let me introduce you to Matt, one of the founders of the company. How's it going? So <laughs> we recently moved to Adaptive a couple months ago. These guys run our back office bookkeeping and they've automated a bunch of our systems. Matt, uh, we've been on you guys for three or four months. My team raves about you guys. Let's tell these guys what is Adaptive. All right, so Adaptive is an automated financials process, uh, product for construction. So our target customer, custom home builders, cost plus. All right, so product fully works with QuickBooks. All right, so plugs into QuickBooks. Onboarding process, you just sync up your QuickBooks, pulls in all your historical data. Key that we focus on is automating the entire process, making everything way easier. So I'm gonna take you through this a little bit. So starting with subcontractor bills. We got the subcontractor inbox here. We'll give your company a specific email address where you can just start forwarding all your documents. By the way, this is my actual company right here. This is the Reisinger Build Team. Yep, yep. When you forward bills in, we use AI to read everything on the document, all right? Comes into the inbox, and then your team can get set up to approve bills on all their projects, all right? So how about we actually show them one of my bills? Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So this bill came in, Austin Natural Painting. We're gonna send it off to approval for Matt. Okay, so let me pull up the adaptive app on my phone. So this is my iPhone. I'm just pulling up my app. I should be logged in. Let's see if I am already. Yes, I'm logged in. Okay, so here's the bill right here on my phone. And then walk us through what we need to do here. So pretty straightforward, right? It's a bill. Point is trying to make it easy. So he can see right in here all the details. Click on the bill. If it looks good, cost code looks good, everything, just go ahead and click approve. Boom, that's it. That's all there is to it. And I can do that all in the field. And of course I can log in when I'm back at the office, but this makes it really, really easy. That AI is going, here's the job it needs to go to. Here's the cost code it needs to go to. It's really eliminating time for my back office because I run a, I would say a mid-sized company. We did about 12 million last year, but I only have two people in the back office and we're, we're actually running two accountings uh, systems for both my video company and my home building company with just two people. Uh, do you think this could be helpful for your size business too, Brian, or is this really more like mid-size or bigger builders? So I'm more trained as a, I'm classically trained as an accountant <laughs> or bookkeeper. Yeah. So I do all of this already myself, yep. but I've been doing it for like 25 years. Yeah. So for me, it would replace a lot of the work that I do and free me up where I think this makes more sense is for people who didn't go to college for accounting, yeah, right? right? Which is the majority of people. Most sure. people are builders. That's right. Um, and this, I think what it hits is there's like this scary perception of AI, like it's gonna take us over. What this does is it increases our capacity. Yeah, that's right. So you can accomplish more. This is using those things that just automates the process and you can keep up with your cost accounting, which I think a lot of builders get scared of. It's almost like, I don't even wanna know my books and I just want to keep building. Yeah. But this makes it easier to know what your profitability is, or it can even trigger you if you're over budget on something. That's right. Which is cool. Talk to me about work in process, man. Yeah, so that was a good point. So you're talking about the cost accounting. So upfront, like what is the result of easy bookkeeping? Clean financials, right? Yep. So automate the bookkeeping, get the clean financials. If you come over to the budgets page here, this is where we'll see what Matt's referring to as work in progress. So. If you're a cost plus builder, you got all your costs, and then you have actually what you've collected from your client, all the draws here. So you wanna make sure this number, your costs, is always lower than this number, what you've collected, <laughs> right? It's pretty good basic. Basic account. Good, Revenue good higher than right there. <laughs> we make this very easy, right? Pull it all in. Let's go ahead and create a client draw. All you gotta do is click add costs. It'll pull in everything that you haven't drawn for yet. And then when you export your draw, you have clean all the is. cost items. And then the best part is it includes all the images in the back. So the whole process is automated here. That's fantastic. Look at that. And so now on a cost plus job, you're really fully transparent with your client. You're really giving them that info. You build that trust with them. And I doubt my clients really look at that anymore. But the fact that I'm giving that to them, that they have all that information, 
really gives me a lot of, my, gives my clients, I should say, a lot of confidence that I've really got their back. And that's how I sell my jobs too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, all we showed you was bills today. We could submit that Home Depot receipt on the counter over there. You can track subcontractor compliance docs. You can make electronic payments, run reports, all sorts of stuff in here. There's a lot more to say here, guys. There's a lot to know for adaptive. But I can tell you, if you look at that list back there of the builders that have popped on, this is a relatively young company. They're really doing cool stuff. Get a hold of Matt and his team. Get yourself a demo. This is a really cool company. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate Thank you. you seeing you, brother. What's up guys, IBS 2024, look who I found. Celebrity designer, can I call you celebrity designer? I don't know. It feels a little weird to say celebrity, doesn't it? Yes. The, yeah. fa how about the famous Even Becky that, Owens. That's weird too, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Becky, want. we're at the Allura booth. And you know, a lot of builders like me are very intimidated by Keller. And this is this comes natural to you. I suspect you've, you've kind of gotten this your whole life, right? And as a designer, you do color well, but we don't do this well. I loved with Allura that they already have created this color scheme for your home. Yep. For the outside, but then you can also bring that inside. They've made it super easy. And you look at, I mean, we can go look in a minute, but just all their color schemes, how easy it makes it for when you're picking any color on your outside or on your inside. Uh, kind of cool vignette we've got going on over here. So this was a super fun project we did with them and we kind of picked one of their color schemes on the outside. Okay. And then So kind all of, these are their color yes. schemes. Okay. They they partnered with Sherwin Williams. Yep. And I'm very familiar with Sherwin Williams. I mean honestly I used to mix paint when I was young. Awesome. The build show we're fighting for time CJ. <laughs> I got Boom, you we got buddy. The, we got I can take you out, out man. We're at the Sky X booth and we are fighting to save some time, and SkyX has an incredible solution for electricians and for builders alike on how to save time and money on your job sites. CJ, how about we take off the gloves and we'll show these guys what SkyX is. Let's show them right now. Mike here is uh, eight minutes on the install, and if Mike's billing at $200 an hour, $150 an hour, maybe he's a cheap electrician and he's 125 an hour. I mean, how much did that 10 minutes of his time cost and he's still not done yet, right? That's a really big deal. CJ did this in a minute, let's call it. All right, y'all, check this out. CJ and I just did a side-by-side -side demo with traditional light install versus the SkyX system. CJ, walk me through it. Over here, we had Mike, the electrician, installing a fixture with kind of the standard method. What does that look like? Junction box, wire nuts, you know, tools stripping out of the wire, testers. Yep. And what SkyX is doing is this is installed. So, I mean, so this is on a normal plug. junction box, the sky plug is on a traditional junction box, right? Okay. Like every house So has. we're still wiring it as normal. Yep, totally normal. Yep. Um, but again, you could use your skilled labor to install this. That's one selling point that I found pretty yep. cool. And then check this out. So then once the plug is in place, either this gets wired to the fixture or the, some of the fixtures come with this already i'm gonna i'm just gonna swap this fixture out real quick all right show us how oh man that's really cool so, check it out so this installed from the factory uh-huh it's an option so on, or we could install it ourselves on any you fixture. could retrofit it yeah. it's it's for uh down rods you could use it for a cable we have cable hung and even chain hung gotcha. so you can totally retrofit it it's okay. not something that you need to to uh you know, have already installed. You, yep. can, you can install on an existing fixture. But also, like I said, from like a production standpoint, being able to go through a catalog, select it on, have skilled labor install this. So a lot of manufacturers Look, are already on board with this and they've got a website called <coughs> onestoplighting.com mm -hmm. where you can order fixtures that already have these pre-installed, such that the electrician's got the plug in and then watch how easy it is to install that fixture. Look at that, plugs right in, holds up to 50 pounds, so we don't even have to have light fixtures, we can have heavy fixtures as well. 
and then all he's doing is putting, what's this piece called again? The canopy. The canopy on. Screwing that canopy on, done. How cool is that? And not only that, if he needs to swap a fixture, super easy. I really like this for builders too. I can see builders like me not installing my fixtures, having the electrician put all the sky plugs in, maybe even putting dummy fixtures in, what we call jelly jar fixtures, yep. you know, the $5 home center fixture just to pass code. Mm -hmm. And then later, after the homeowners moved in, we're not worried about the movers dinging things. We're gonna install those fixtures later. We can pop those on afterwards. There's no pain on the fixture. No movers are running into them, sconces aren't getting broken in the hallways, all that kind of stuff. Maintenance, we, we, we touched on real quick, you know, to be able, be able to repair or remove and replace a damaged fixture. Yeah. Space is changing. We don't want to drop down, you know, a downlight over a dining room table. When you move the dining room table, you can pop in the recessed downlight. It's, yep. it's a lot of selling points. It's Labor really cool. is a huge one. You know, you're building 500 homes at a time. You can, you know, the selection is, outfitted from the factory, That's right. it's pretty cool. Now we just did a live demo here at the booth and we had Mike, another master electrician, install a normal fixture, right? Where let's say you're up on the ladder, he's trying to hold that fixture, wire it at the same time, you may be 10 feet in the air, not super safe, a little bit awkward, often a two-man job. And it took Mike, you know, Massimo Leno's 10 minutes to install that fixture, let's say, start to finish. Whereas CJ and I on this side, look how easy it is to install this. Do, do one and, more. And course, again, CJ. You, you still have to install this. That's right. That's again, right. Not the biggest deal. That's right. The three, sky plug three still needs terminals, to yep. and it's done. They're ready to go in there. So you're still traditionally wiring it, but actually the physical hanging of it is no I'm not big deal. doing this with wire nuts. That's right. I'm not having to balance, you know, yeah. I'm not having to call in help to hold it. I'm just doing this. It clicks right in. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And then put the canopy on and you're done. You're out. That's pretty awesome. I also like how high quality these are. I mean, if you look at this, this looks to be really well made. It feels in hand like this is not an inexpensive part. This feels really, really good. And once this is up too, the other thing, CJ, I don't know if you mentioned is this fixture could be hot and you can touch it and there's nothing there that's gonna get it's me It's totally, shocked. it's listed. It's uh, the National Electric Code recognizes it. Yeah. I mean, you can't, no you can't get, you can't get hurt. So again, skilled labor, installing this, yeah. And again, the builder being able to come back after or, or, or lower end labor being able to come in and trim out after the fact. Yeah. It's always the last thing to hang yeah. or do on a job is finish is finish fixtures is like the last thing. That's right. So again, when you're building 40, I mean, even one home, you know, yeah, it's I mean, you can send the apprentice back to hang all those fixtures. Yeah, or the you guys say, you know, the painter comes by yeah. and you got to touch up paint. Yeah. How many times have we pulled down fixtures on a build? Yeah. That's right. It's a pain in the butt. It costs a lot of money. Uh, you know, the painter needs to touch up around the box. Yeah. Or again, a selection changes because the, the owners don't like it. Boom, that's super easy. That's crazy. It's pretty that's wild. Really compelling. Yeah, it's the future. And in general, I think, just to sum it up, I think time savings is really, really the big story here. Yes, you can change fixtures easily, but if you can knock out five, 10 minutes per fixture in your house, and electricians are some of the best paid trades on the job. We're really gonna save money, both as electricians and as builders. Very, very fun time at SkyX. Thanks for joining me, CJ. Thanks, man. We'll put a link to these guys in the description below. We're at Designing Construction Week 2024. How are y'all visiting View Rail? Stephanie, this is some pretty stuff here, isn't it? Isn't this amazing? Now, is this your first time meeting Len? Len's been on camera with me a lot. He's the OG founder of the company. And Len, I love that you're the face of the company. Talk to me about what's new this year. I mean, this is pretty unbelievable. Matt, we love to do hard things. And <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> we've been doing a, a lot of hard straight things and we thought, hey, let's do a hard curve yeah. and let's wrap it in wood let's uh, really tighten up the lines and make all of the joints come together really well. Let's go ahead and light up the handrail and uh, then let's put it in a box and ship it to Vegas because that would be easy, right? Why not? Yeah. I've never done a curve stair, have you before? I have not, but I want to now. This is intimidating for me as a builder, but the idea that I could order this from you guys, mm -hmm. you could ship it to my job and this could be 
a feature in one of my houses that people are like, wow, Matt, what an incredible staircase. Well, thanks. You know, my guys are pretty talented. <laughs> That's what I love about View Real is I, as a builder, get to get credit for some mm. really cool stuff in my houses. Matt, what we love about it is we figured out a way to hatch a plan. We can keep the lines really thin mm -hmm. and making the walls this thin, it, it adds some mystery to it. Yeah. And What's this made from is what I was thinking when I saw it. You, exactly. you buy one and I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> it, it is wood with embedded steel in the right places yeah. to bring the structure yeah. together to, to strengthen it up. Yep. Uh, but it's, it's very achievable. It also can be a platform for you. It can be a space where you want to leather wrap this. Picture that, oh, picture that wow. leather wrap. <laughs> picture the veneer that you're going to do the whole room in. The plaster. And it grows right up here. Picture plaster, yeah. a Venetian plaster yeah. on here. Unbelievable. Yeah. So we can provide the engineering and the structure, get it done pretty quickly for you. That's amazing. And then allow your creativity to just go where it needs to. Super cool, man. Now, when I think V-Rail though, mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, I always go back to your original product you yeah. came out with decades ago. How long has it been now? How long you it's us? been about 10 years. Okay, about a decade yeah. ago when I first found out about you guys. I mean, that V-Rail flight system with that mono stringer. Yes. Uh, you guys still, I'm sure, sell the heck out of that, aren't you? We do. There are about 10 of them a day going out of our plant. And we really sought Matt to solve a big problem. And we like to be problem solvers. And the problem was, how do you build something that is scalable. So your engineering work today, you can stand on that engineering work tomorrow and it can keep building. Yeah. And that's really what we did with Mono. So every time we build one, we are standing on the engineering of a previous day. And so yeah. we're really, really efficient yeah. with it. That's right, you've been doing this a long time. And that efficiency translates to builder efficiency. Yeah. Now, yeah. Stephanie, you've got your first view rail job on order I do. for a really cool house that I've been to. I do. Uh, what drew you to view rail as a builder? What was interesting for you? I originally saw view rail and learned of view rail through Matt. So I started ah. watching some of Matt's videos, learning a little bit about the company, seeing you guys at the builder show, because mm -hmm. this is, you know, a really important staple for our business. But when we started looking at what we wanted to do in this house with it being more modern and kind of a unique aesthetic, mm -hmm. we knew we needed someone that really knew their stuff with glass railing. Yeah, you got a lot of glass rail coming up on that job, we don't you? Yeah, a ton of glass rail. And so we started kind of doing some digging and light bulb went off, View Rail does glass, that's their thing. Yeah. So we reached out and we were able to get with the team about the glass pins. Mm -hmm. And that glass pin railing system is what we've chosen to use. And we're gonna use it in a few different ways. So we have, the entire inside of the house with the clear glass and stainless pins. Wow. And then the car showroom is going to have the smoked glass. Did you say black. car showroom <laughs> and car smoked showroom glass? And you got to see glass. this house, man. It's incredible. Wow. And then in addition to that, we did. We went back to your your trademark center piece of monorail mm. stairs or mono stringer stairs. And we're going to do two flights of those in black with Ooh. the LED lights yes. that you guys have showcased. Wow. You do a really, really great job of showing those off. And that's just going to be another little like jewelry piece on that car showroom. Mm. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Now, besides the curve though, Lynn, you got something else pretty awesome on the other side of the booth. Let's go check that out. We'll Let's meet go. you over there. Oh, oh, Lynn. Wow. This is awesome. Cantilever. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Stephanie? So beautiful. How the heck did you do this? Well, uh, we did a lot of work to design how to solve builder problems because, Matt, one of the problems you have is like, you've probably already framed this wall. Customer changes their mind because they see one of our pictures on Instagram or yeah, something. Can yeah. we do a cantilever, Matt? And you're like, oh, like, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. And so this is a, standard framed wall on 16 inch centers. Holy cow, really? 16 inch centers. We come in with our patented process where we're putting LVLs to sister those studs. Okay, I gotta, you actually have a I got a cutaway huh? here. Okay, cool. And I can show you the engineering on it. So they're gonna be individual steel plates. They're gonna attach to this stiffened wall. Wow. Nothing weighs more than hundred pounds. So two people can bring it in and do the installation. Mm. And we provide you with a template first. So you're gonna play, put a template up there, make sure everything's in place. You get to pre-drill all the holes and you're putting a hundred pound piece up, tightening it. 
we have a leveling system because you can imagine we go up to 66 inches wide yeah and holy and cow keeping that level out there is is a challenge yeah because your glass has to match up so we have a leveling system it's part of the patent then you can apply the glass on the ends and know that every one of those rises is going to be perfect that's pretty awesome now here's the test though stephanie what do you weigh like three four hundred pounds yep. why don't you walk these stairs <laughs> tell us if we can feel any shake on here i'm holding the railing she's walking it i really don't feel anything that's incredible a 300 pound woman nothing <laughs> Nothing at all. Incredible. So we have a real 300 pound person. His name's Bud. And everything gets the Bud test. And if it pa passes the Bud test, then we put it through the FEA and the ICC certification and get all the stamps so that you don't have any difficulty with code inspectors. So it gets real world tested and awesome. it gets a uh, finite element. Analysis. And not only are the stairs cantilevered, but it looks like the landing at the top it of the is. rail also cantilevers out. Yeah. And that's not a small landing up it there. It is not. That's yeah. impressive. Um, I suspect there might be a patent happening here somewhere. There is. Um, we've applied for it and been granted the patent pending status. A lot of continued paperwork to do that. Super but cool. It's, it's going to be fun. That's awesome. Yeah. So we talked earlier about your kind of bread and butter with people know you on, yeah. which is that uh, mono stringer. What else are you have in the booth that, that you kind of feel like is the, the bread and butter? Like we sell the most of. I'm curious. Let's go look at Flight Stack. Flight Stack. All right, we'll meet you over at Flight Stack. All right, Len, Stack. This is also really darn cool. No stringer visible whatsoever. Right. It looks like kind of Lego blocks that are climbing up the stairs. Talk to us about this guy. We think this is like our pinnacle of design. We love that it's, it's clean. It's not open riser, which some people may be a little not ready for. Yeah. And so it's a great space to go in there. There's no fastener anywhere. It's just this elegance and cleanness. The The lights are so hidden. Like, I mean, you can't yeah. even tell there's lights there until you make the glow happen. That's really cool. I, I, I don't know how we're gonna improve upon this, Matt. That's pretty Honestly, pretty. we think this is our pinnacle design. What's this, your favorite thing about this, This Stephanie? is an amazing set of stairs. I love the lights. I think mm. that does give you just a little bit of an accent, but I do agree. There's a lot of people that see like, open risers and get a little nervous or yeah. they have kids or animals mm. or yep. certain things this gives you a similar look still very modern still very contemporary yep. but it doesn't intimidate people with the open risers yeah. and the recessed black tucked up underneath the oak in this particular set is beautiful pretty awesome yeah len amazing stuff great tour Guys, if you're not familiar with V-Rail, this is a really cool company based right in the heart of America. They're shipping these out to job sites all over the country. You can install it yourself. They can install it for you. But the best part about it is I, as the builder, Stephanie, as the builder, gets to get credit for an incredibly beautiful piece of craftsmanship on our job sites. I mean, it's truly artwork and they're great people to work with. So give them a call if you have an interesting project. We'll put a link to these guys in the description. Thanks for having us, my friend. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thank Beautiful you. stuff, wasn't it? Thank it's you. It's great. Pleasure. Thanks, Len. All right, guys, we'll see you later from Design and Construction Week 2024. All right, look at We're back at SPAN. Yeah. We're at IBS 2024. Um, and we were here last year. Yep. And I was pretty pumped to see, showing up the SPAN booth, that they have a lot more to offer than last Ooh, year. A cool. lot of exciting new changes, which, you know, when we've been at IBS, there's not always new stuff at some of the booths that yep. we saw last year. Yeah. Span's crushing it right now, so. Very cool. Um, Ryan, what's new, dude? What do we got? Well, we've, uh, we've taken the, the Span 32 panel over here and we've expanded our family, both bigger and smaller, based on the feedback that you were describing and really giving different access points for the same awesome capability that, that Span includes, different form factors to meet different uh, different needs for builders. So that was it, right? Last year, I think uh, electricians tend to be, uh, we'll, we'll see something great and then complain about it. Um, and one of the things that I've, I've heard when we first did some Span stuff was, it was just the 32, but yeah. look at this. We boy. got a 48. Woo! So for the, the bigger houses, and again, we can go more than one yeah, on a house. It's not yep. limited, so you can they just stack those They up. network together. So you can have a 48 and a 24, a 32 and a 24. All of it's configurable based on the needs of the home. So let me ask you guys a question. I'm I don't understand all this and and what you'd use where, but like, what where would you use a span 16? That seems like 
that would be like a generator panel or a smaller panel. Why, why would you want that 16? Yeah, you may want it for a retrofit use case where you're just trying to con control a little bit of load. Okay. You may want this outdoors because you want more distribution indoors and so you're gonna have your main breaker outdoors and just okay, a little bit, of little bit of load and Got then it. and then move the rest inside. Right, because it's a big investment. If you only have the 32 and we're doing a, a 900 square foot, um, apartment or an ADU, uh, right? right? So smaller. Yeah. So and simply cost too makes sense, right? It's going to be less expensive. Oh yeah. Yep. It's going to gotcha. be less expensive. Uh, and then I really want to show this off because I saw it and it, oh, it was yeah. like glowing. Oh. Um, but we have, it's not out yet, but it's coming out. Yeah, we'll have, uh, we'll have the whole family outside of the 32 starting to roll out in end of Q3, beginning of Q4 of this year. Okay. okay. So we know they're smart panels. Um, they integrate with batteries. That's why you're going to have a span yeah. is because when you have power outage, um, a, you know, the battery takes over and it will click off all the loads that you don't need. Um, so we we've d we got a ton of build show content on span. Yep. Yep. Um, I really wanted to highlight uh, some of the things that I thought were the most exciting. It's the energy management. Can you explain like yeah, it's so, here? Yeah, it's here. It's we, we have it live now in 34 states. We're installed it with our hardware in all 50 states now. Uh, and our energy management system that we call Power Up is now active in, in 34 states. And what this is about is uh, both in new home construction and in retrofit construction, oftentimes as you start adding additional electric load, you get constrained by the utility service. So what we can do is, is we can see that, that utility service, understand whole, whole home load, and then start to manage load to keep you under that service, preventing you from having to increase your service size, which is a significant amount of cost, both in retrofit and new home construction. That's pretty awesome. And when you came, remember, we went and we saw some of these houses and I was explaining to you that our utility company, you build a big house and they're not necessarily just handing out 400 amps right. to everyone. Right. And so totally. we, sometimes we have to work within that 200 so amp that load management's really a big deal for you guys. Span solved the problem. Yeah. We don't have to get a utility upgrade anymore. Yeah. Span, we can install a span. It's all code compliant, right? You yep. said recognized, all listed. Yeah, EMS uh, UL916 energy management system. So I can work with the 200 and I can have it prioritize to turn off things to regulate that and use a small service, but you know, still add all my electric appliances, the EV chargers, induction ranges, all this electric stuff, especially in California. Yeah, where yeah that's a big deal. Yeah. In the words of my favorite California electrician, that's pretty rad. That is pretty <laughs> rad. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know CJ, master electrician, CNC electric, shooting videos all the time on buildshownetwork.com. He's made a bunch of videos on SPAN. He's used a lot of these products on his job sites that he's building with builders uh, outside of the San Francisco Bay Area. And he's got a bunch of cool videos. So go check out his work and also follow him on Instagram. Thank you, Ryan, for uh, giving I us the tour today. Thank you it's guys. so cool that you guys are doing. And yeah. I mean, they reinvented the electrical panel and I, I, I'm just excited that they're just pushing the envelope every year. And, they're getting and, feedback from electricians like you. How and cool they're listening, that? which is rare, but thank you so much. Yeah, Appreciate Designing it. Designing Construction Week 2024. All right, Matt, Allie, we're at the Cosentino booth, and this is amazing. There's some cool stuff here, Stephanie. I like it. Now, Allie, have you used these products before? I use Cosentino all the time. I particularly love their Decton product, and this is not a sales pitch. Decton is one of the best, most innovative surfaces in the world right now. So Cosentino is based in Spain and their Decton product is actually made from a byproduct of a quartz and quarry. So Ooh. this is ultra sustainable, ultra powerful. They put it under a ton of pressure and it's called being ultra compact. So this stuff is basically indestructible. How I, cool. I was gonna say in our showroom in Salt Lake and I know Allie, we've talked about this a little bit. Yeah. They write on it with Sharpie, with nail polish, they right? light it on fire. Oh my gosh. It's bulletproof. Wow, that's pretty cool. So do you think they'd mind if I just grab the Sharpie and you get know, after maybe it? Maybe not today. Get a little signature <laughs> on that. Not put it so the is this Decton right here on this gorgeous island we're seeing? It is. Any idea what this is? I believe it's the eight mil. Okay, so the thicker product, the, right? Because this, this can come down to four mil, is that what I heard? Yeah, exactly. and the four mil can actually be scored and cut. 
Just so, like tile. Just like tile. So for a lot of the solid surface showers that you use, it's a more economical way That's cool. of achieving the same aesthetic. Have you done a shower with us before? We have, yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. I've not worded it. This is pretty fabulous. One of the cool things I found out today while we've been around here, this fluted surface that you're seeing on us here, and really then there's like another this. fireplace behind us here, those are done in the factory. This oh, isn't really? done by a fabricator after okay. the fact. So All you right. can get them fluted from the factory and use it on your shower walls or on a fireplace space. And now, I wonder when you make that curve cut though, if you negated that waterproofing or that kind of imperviousness. Do you guys know that answer? I don't think so. I think the fact that it's factory fabricated actually eliminates that human error that, that comes with a custom fab. That makes sense. You know? These curve cuts are gorgeous. This island is unbelievable. And check out these appliances that are kind of set in. I don't know what brand that is. I've never used that before, but that's kind of cool. Looks beautiful. One of the places we've used Decton before in the past has been on the outside of buildings. Really? Yeah, as a cladding? On, as a cladding. This stuff is fade resistant. It's It can be, you know, you can set hot things directly on it. It's nearly bulletproof. Yeah, oh. we use it on a lot of outdoor spaces. So mm -hmm. you notice that these burners are directly on the slab. Slab can take it. I'm telling you, this stuff is nearly indestructible. So it's a fantastic product and the great thing about it also is that it's not overly expensive. Is that right? Yeah, it's actually really pretty economical and achievable for the average homeowner who's just That's trying awesome. to get a really nice finish in their house. Very cool. They do make a ton of different colors as well. So stuff that you're seeing behind us that looks more like marble. We've seen some stuff that looks kind of like um, burnt steel. Oh, really? Some, yeah, some more industrial huh. looks. And then they do have some solid surface colors as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Guys, I don't know about you, but this has been a really fun design and construction week. We've had a lot of fun with all the build show network contributors. You guys obviously are following Allison Anderson, Integra Builders on Instagram, and Stephanie Builds It on Instagram. But if you want to go see their videos, these guys have shot some awesome videos. Guys, thanks for joining me for Design and Construction Show. It's been a lot of fun. If you're not following Allie already and Stephanie, go check them out on their social media. But of course, they're shooting videos on a weekly basis on their job sites in Chicago and in Utah. These guys are amazing. They do fabulous work, and I'm really thankful to have them on the Build Show Network. So go check out thebuildshow.com for Ali and Stephanie's videos. Otherwise, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on, on the, the Build, Build Show. Show.